This is SE Featured. This is the power of sports. Shaquem Griffin arrived in the world 60 seconds after his brother Shaquille. Identical twins with one essential difference. My husband came, you know, he sat on the side of me and I was like, bring me my boys, I want to see my boys. And he said, before I bring them to you, I just want to talk to you about something. Something is going on with one of their hands, Shaquem's hand. Shaquem was born with a condition known as amniotic band syndrome. It affects roughly five in every 10,000 births. Basically the building cord wrap around my wrist, cutting the circulation off, not allowing my hand to fully grow. You know, still at the fingers, but it was just more of tissue, and they have the full development by my hand. When I saw that, I just broke down in tears, and I blamed myself for it. And then the first thing I thought, growing up, what people are going to say, how he's going to be able to handle it as a little kid. So it was hard. Yeah, it, it, it was pretty tough for me. Yeah. The condition caused Shaquem intense pain in his underdeveloped left fingers. One night, when he was four years old, the agony was too much to bear. Out of nowhere, all we can hear is just screaming. I go and run in the room because that's why I hear the screaming, but he's not in there. I went and ran into the kitchen and climbed on top of the counter and get a knife out the drawer and try to remove my own fingers. So now I'm running into the kitchen and he's already have a knife in his hand getting ready to cut the digits off because of the pain. And being at that age, all he wanted to do was just get rid of the pain. And he's thinking, if I cut him off, it'll stop the pain. But as he was getting ready to cut him off, I was able to grab his hand with the knife. I called the doctor myself, was one of the surgeons. I will be bringing him in tomorrow morning for you to have surgery and take the digits off. Uh, enough was enough. With the pain finally gone, the family placed no limits on Shaquem in sports or anything else. Everything he wanted to do, it was like, well, we're going to test it out until I can find a way you can do it on your own. I test it out with one hand. If I can do it with one hand, you can do it with one hand. The attitude towards me was never allow me to make excuses. I mean, treat me like everybody else. You know, if they hard on my brother, they hard on me. That's all it is. And look out. Look at the ball. You don't get a point for that. You don't get a point for looking good. I thought I'd seen something fly out that I could have sworn mine. <laughs> How would you describe your bond with your brother? Inseparable. No matter the circumstance, no matter the situation. If it's him fighting a shark, I'm diving in the water with him because that shark that shark have to feel both of us. The Griffin brothers have always been more than close. They were a package deal. We're going to live together. We're going to play together. We're going to marry twins. We're going to have twin kids, and we didn't know how serious it was until we start getting scholarship offers. While Shaquille began getting offers from D1 powerhouses, Shaquem did not. He turned down so many from UF, FSU, Miami. He turned down so many teams. It was unbelievable. It was about sticking with my brother and the bond and the love I had for him was way bigger than some scholarship. The first school to offer both brothers a scholarship was the University of Central Florida. Shaquille quickly moved up the depth chart there. Shaquem didn't, struggling in his first several seasons. I had to sit for a while, watch my brother play. I was always happy for him, but you know, I always felt like it was, it was so much more for me to do. I think that was a time where I didn't know where I was going to be playing ever again. What doubt did you have? Doubt? I don't remember having doubt, just being scared of stopping. Just needed somebody to give me a chance to show them that I can. That chance came in 2016 when Scott Frost took over as head coach. Hit right away by Shaquem Griffin. It was obvious right away how good an athlete he was. It was easy after the first couple practices to look past um, how many hands he had and we knew we had to find a place for him on the field. It's not a cash down, baby! Let's go! Give me a fresh shot to start. I ain't looked back ever since. That season, Shaquem shined. And the interception by who else? Shaquem Griffin. 11th in the nation in sacks. Backside pressure. Down he goes, Shaquem Griffin. And named Conference Defensive Player of the Year. Shaquem Griffin knocked it out. In 2017, with Shaquille now in the NFL playing for the Seahawks, 
Shaquem led UCF to an undefeated season. Griffin, who I think is the most inspirational story in all of college football. But despite his play, in late January, he still had not received an invite to the Combine. He should be evaluated as if he had two hands. To evaluate him like he has one hand is an injustice because one hand hasn't precluded him from doing anything his entire life. And then came January 30th. What's good, buddy? What's up, buddy? Hey, when you want me to uh, call the combine? If you got in, you should got an email. Did you check your email? No, I ain't checked that yet. We'll check, and then if you don't have an email, then we'll call. Is this it right here? Uh, official invite. <laughs> Let's go. Congratulations. Let's man. go. Thank you. Well deserved. Five weeks later, Shaquem was in Indianapolis. Back in his hometown in Florida, his family, including Shaquille, gathered to watch him perform. That's it. Let's go, Keem. Let's go. Shaquem ran a 4.38 in the 40-yard dash, the fastest time for a linebacker ever recorded. To see that he ran the same thing his brother ran, a 4.38, was unbelievable. That was a moment that I, I don't think I'll ever forget that. I, I was sharing tears. Unbelievable. I want to be able to show that to everybody that if somebody tells you what you can't do, so the only person I can stop you is yourself. I can make changes in the world, but I'm not just a feel-good story. I work my butt off for everything I want in life and it's not going to stop here. <laughs>